I'm here with head coach of Northern Iowa, Doug Schwab. How's it going, coach? Uh, it's, it's going all right. I mean, you know, we had another another opportunity to watch our guys compete in multiple high-level matches. You know, I mean, we uh, we went to Las Vegas tournament, which is a great tournament. Um, and we definitely made some improvements. And that's really all we can ask, you know, how much ground can we cover in, from now until the end of the season and really how much ground can we cover from tomorrow to you know next week those are the things that we're trying to do um, so i was happy with the response i was happy how we finished um, we just got to continue to improve and get better and if we want to be one of the best teams in the country then you consistently have to be able to show up and perform at a really high level and you have to find kind of you know a lot of different ways to win matches sometimes um, but overall happy with the direction where things are going and now we just got to continue to to get better you know we got a little break and then we get back to work yeah definitely uh big 12 pretty tough conference uh yeah. what, what are you really looking forward to in this uh second half i think just how how we can prepare for each match you know we had we had a tournament and, um some of those guys wrestled six seven matches you know in a couple days and uh, you know, can we be prepared for the first whistle of a first of one match and then wrestle through a whole match and then be able to be consistent, I guess, really over time. And that's really what we're trying to be able to do. But um, I'm excited for these guys to get a little bit of break, get to go home for a little while. We've trained and put a lot of good training in and then we'll come back and you know, we don't have school for another three weeks and we'll be able to train and hopefully cover a whole lot of ground as a team and, you know, have a great second half of the year. Uh, the collegiate duels. What do you think about an event like this? Uh, duels. I love duels. I love. It's just different from a team aspect. I mean, obviously, you know, I wasn't watching the other match, but to think that they're gonna pin, you know, multiple guys in a row, and I mean, I think you end up pinning three in a row, right? Yep. Yep. You know, so I mean, who, whoever thinks that's gonna happen, you know, I think it's just it's exciting because there, there's momentum, and I think it's probably the best way to package our sport, um, you know, from a. A fringe fan, you know. I think it's it's easy to understand, and there's so much excitement, so many up up and down, so much. I think thing that uh, you know, if you're a fan of the sport, it's really easy to to get in behind. Uh, you know, I know Frank's tried to do this. We've moved around a couple different places. This was this was by far the the nicest, you know, the nicest place, the most the best accommodations that we had. And you know, obviously, this is a this is a great <laughs> this is a, a great arena. Um, I I love the area. You know, as long as they have it, we're, we'll continue to come back to it because, you know, I could get to wrestle two, two top ten teams. <laughs> so, you know, you can't beat that. Parker Kekheisen, what a what a beast on the mat. Talk yeah. about this season, uh, what, it, what it has been for him and just like what, uh, I mean, him he, in the room in competition too. Training very, I mean, he's incredibly consistent in the work that he does and how he shows up. He shows up with a purpose every day. Um, you know, and he's still battling through some things. I mean, they're, you know, he's human and he's trying to figure out how to manage manage his emotions better and be able to, to control those things and the only way to do that sometimes is to get out in the in the competition arena you know i kind of said we had to, we got to put ourselves in the fire sometimes and then you got to see how you react to when you put, get put in the fire and um you know he's man what a great leader for our team i mean obviously competing at an incredibly high level he scores a ton of points and man wrestles through everything all the time man you know i mean he had, he had a tight match you're gonna have tight matches sometimes this is college division one wrestling i mean uh you know, we get used to where he's getting bonus points almost every single match, but that's a testament to him and his training and the high level that he performs at consistently. Uh, but maybe best guy, one of the best guys pound for pound in, in the damn country in the world. And we're pretty damn happy to have him in our room every day. Last question. There's uh, been some adversity for you guys and where you guys have been practicing. Yeah. Can you give a little update on that? Uh, yeah, I mean... You make the best of the situation. You know, the Shamgar principles: you make the best of where you are, you know, with what you have, where you're at, and that's 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 what we did. Um, you know, we were fortunate to have an alum that had a had a building that we were able to to renovate, and you know, we have more mat space than we had at the West Gym, and our guys really just got on board with it right away. You know, we talked about these other teams that we wrestled. Do you, I mean, do you think Ohio State or NC State or Lock Haven that we wrestled cared that we got kicked out of our? You know, we we we, we lost our room and we had to redo one they don't care and i kind of tried to tell the team at the outside of that is you know what we we can't worry about any of those things because we can control what we can and guys have done a fantastic job of it um, i think hopefully it just illustrates that we'll always find a way to make the best of the situation and we're not going to make excuses because be an easy thing to do right well you know we had to deal with all this stuff like none of that matters <laughs> you know we got mats and we have we have a group of guys that are bought in and believe in what we're doing and you know that's all i can really ask for Awesome. I appreciate your time, Coach. Anything else? No, just a uh, yeah, great event, man. And we're looking forward to, uh, you know, hopefully I, 
I, I know they're talking about moving around, but I, I'd come back to here in a heartbeat. So, awesome. Yeah. What do you think about the the music? I uh, well, uh, <laughs> you know, interesting. I know, I know Eli. Um, I've known him for a long time. You know, his his dad, his dad coached me at Iowa. So, um, I, I you know, I thought awesome. I mean, something when you come to Nashville, it seemed like that's the, it's the right and fitting thing to do. So, uh, no, I, I love it. It was great. Awesome. Thank yeah, you, Coach. Yeah, appreciate it, man.